two or three or four minutes on how to combine After Effects and Premiere together. Um, Premiere is such a fun program for video editing. I'm using, my background here is a video from Pexels by Ingrid North. It's a space video. It was a free download. I just wanted to give her credit. There will be credit at the end of my um, video tutorial here. Um, you do have essential graphics in Premiere, right? Essential graphics are kind of like text styles. I can drag them, I can drop them, I can edit them. Um, they're just kind of standard. Yes, you can download more. Yes, there's free ones online. To edit them, you're just going to kind of get yourself to the spot where you can see the text. You can see that all my text stuff, my font, all the things kind of popped up there. The animation, how it's happening is popping up here. It's all editable right in Premiere um, with keyframes, I can do all that. But what if I wanted something more specific? I wanted to make my own. So now that we've used After Effects, or if you've used After Effects um, in, you know, After Effects and Premiere together, what I've done here is I just created a text. I just kind of did a text layer, and all I did was stick a very simple, I'm in After Effects for this one, right? I went to my effects and presets, and I went to text, and I went to animate, and I went to fade up characters, and I just dropped it, right? Then I went and I changed the size of it so that it was you know just the size that I needed to be only about four seconds um, after that you do a save so you remember it so the one that I'm actually gonna place is this one right here you can see that there's just two text layers um, right here I've got two different colors and that's the full length of my animation so if I want to put this now in Premiere how can I do it well I can render it and I can put it in there as an mp4 right if there's no sound to it um, but a video right um, or I can import it I, and I can import it here or I could just go file import here now that is your first instinct is to import it but if you use the Adobe dynamic link which is fairly new last year, two years or so and you go to import after effects composition I need to locate where that composition is that I just created the one that I just saved right here it is right here um, it's called this because I was playing around with some other stuff so the mirror text and after effects I hit OK it goes into my project panel I can then take it drag it and drop it right on top of my video. Now, it's called Adobe Dynamic Link, right? So I didn't have to render it in After Effects. It's just running right here in my Premiere um, document. Now, let me go ahead and let me go back real quick. Let's say that I decided I needed to change the color. Let me go back into After Effects. Here I am back in After Effects. So notice that space and the final frontier are two different colors. Maybe it change your mind, right? Maybe it change your mind and you're like, you know what? No, I want this text to be white. I'm going to have this text be white instead. I, so I change it to white. And I, obviously, I can't see it, but that's okay. I'm going to do a quick save, file save, right? This is the document that it's pulling from in my Premiere. I go back to Premiere and I'm going to go ahead and play it and I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed that it worked and it has updated my design. So rather than rendering it and placing it and rendering it and placing it, all you gotta do is use that Adobe Dynamic Link. It is connecting the two files for you. Um, it, if you wanted to edit it, it's gonna bring you back into After Effects, but it's a great way to create custom text styles um, between Premiere and After Effects and, and a way to start using the two programs together. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to watch more neat stuff that you can do with the Adobe programs.